Today we're going to be looking at downscaling 4K to 1080p. So a lot of viewers have asked me, how do you downscale 4K to 1080p? 4K cameras are becoming very popular and there's a lot of great affordable 4K cameras out there like the GH4 and the new G7, the A7R2, the A7S, so on and so forth. So there's been more interest and some people don't really understand how or why you'd take 4K and downscale it to 1080. So we're gonna look at that today, both in Final Cut Pro 10 and in Premiere Pro. And this is going to be from a section of the GH4 guide in chapter six when we go through all things post-production. Now, why would you want to downscale 4K? Well, right now there isn't a lot of good 4K distribution options. Yes, you can upload your videos in 4K to YouTube, but I still think audiences out there aren't really taking advantage of that. It's also a huge uh, workload for most people's computers. So a lot of us are still uploading in 1080p. And we're also taking 4K cameras and 1080p cameras and mixing them and interchanging them. So being able to take a 4K image and go to 1080 is a great way to distribute your work. And 4K downscale to 1080 just looks great. It has a lot more detail packed into that 1080 and it also has a lot of sharpness. So it's a great way to get more out of your camera if you're shooting in 4K. So now let's go ahead and jump into the video and look at how we can downscale 4K to 1080. First, we're gonna start with Final Cut. If you wanna skip that section and go straight to Premiere Pro, check out the link at the bottom of the screen and you can bypass Final Cut. Downscaling from 4K to 1080 is a very, very simple process. It really doesn't take much work at all. The only thing you wanna do is double check one setting. So we're gonna go ahead and open up our project and I'm going to just drag my file down into the project. This is a video clip. And what we wanna do is we want to click on the actual project here. We're going to go into the inspector and you can see we want to make sure up here on the right it's set to 1080p and if it's not if it's set to 4k you can hit modify settings and you can go in here and change it sometimes final cut will automatically set it to 4k so we want to go 1080 and hit ok and that's it you're done so what it's doing is it's dumping this 4k file onto a 1080p timeline and that will downscale it so essentially it'll or down res it'll take that 4k and squeeze it into a 1080 and that gives us a really really sharp image which is amazing so very simple process now you don't want to do this if you're going to export and distribute your final project in 4k this is strictly for those of us taking 4k downscaling it to 1080 and then distributing in 1080. Now let's look at downscaling in Premiere Pro. So first thing I'm going to do is import a file. All right, so here we have our 4K clip. I'm going to drag this on this icon right here, which is to create a new sequence. And boom, now we have our sequence and timeline over on the lower right and obviously we have our clip loaded. So what it did is it actually created a timeline that was set to 4K. So if we go up to sequence, go to our sequence settings, you can see right here we have our frame size, which is UHD, it's not true 4K, but 3840 by 2160. To downscale, we simply enter in 1920 by 1080, hit OK, and now we're good to go. Now we can edit in this sequence and everything's going to be uh, downscaled from 4K to 1080. So that's how you can downscale in Premiere Pro. So there you have it. It's really, really straightforward and uh, it's gonna look awesome when you take that 4K footage and downscale to 1080p. If you wanna learn more about the GH4 guide, check out the link at the bottom of the screen. I've also done a bunch of bonus videos from the guide that you can check out if you're not sure about it. And of course, if you wanna see more gear reviews and filmmaking tutorials, stick around here at DSLR Video Shooter.